The farm was started um, based on the idea that Vietnam has a wonderful potential for horticulture um, and that we have a lot of wonderful fresh fruits that, that, you know, that I want to market to the world and uh, that's where we really get started from. My name is Nguyen and uh, my role is the co-founder for uh, La Farm, uh, which is the agribusiness in Vietnam. Our company uh, produces and promotes the marketing and sales of uh, Vietnamese tropical fresh fruits to uh, Asia Pacific markets, most particularly China, Korea and Japan markets. You know, horticulture industry is going really strong, especially since we have a, a young demographics going on for another five to ten years with a lot of earning powers as well as spending power. Um, we have a, a, a strong cultural heritage in farming works and I take great pride in promoting that. We have a strong labor force that specializes in, in horticulture. A lot of people are excited about you know, taking sustainability and combining it with horticulture in, in a new era for Vietnam. Sustainability is not a market differentiator. It gives you the right to buy because it has to do with food safety and health uh, for people. Otherwise, we don't have a, a closed, healthy loop cycle that keeps going forward over time. So that's the greatest um, benefits that I think is starting a, a horticulture business in Vietnam. Australia, given its proximity to Vietnam, has always been a great potential partner in any kind of businesses um, that we can have a, a cooperation together. We cooperate with a lot of uh, Australian horticulture companies, both for uh, fruit cultivar varieties imports, as well as R&D corporations, how to transfer the R&D um, works of, of, the, of horticulture in Australia into our applying and executing um, to, to raise the technical level here in Vietnam for farm management as well as uh, product quality. So for mango, uh, as one of the key products that we do at La Farm, we have to go through a process called vapor heat treatment. Um, and so most of our know-how, technical know-how R&D works that apply here uh, to treat the mango to make sure that it's clean and safe for for consumers, we have a strategic partnership with an Australian company that used to do that. Um, and, and they bring technologies over, help us train and educate us how to do it. You know, the uh, abundance of um, agricultural lands and, uh, and availability of, of uh, labor in this sector also gives a, a nice competitive edge in terms of becoming a, 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 a production regent for a lot of the Australia horticulture players that want to venture into the Asia market as well, um, using Vietnam as a foundation to reach out to the remaining um, countries market. Um, the Australian government is, is very active in Vietnam with a lot of um, funding initiative going both into the non-profit and the for-profit sector. So Australian government has been very helpful in connecting the right players together from, from both ends of the ocean and that create opportunities to leverage the core competency uh, of each players um, and to, to maximize and utilize what they do best and do it together.